So you, you need to walk in without touching it with your shoulders. And then you lean back, and you can see the figures. And these are classic Fremont anthropomorphs, human-like figures, because they have a bucket-shaped head, they have broad shoulders, and they have a tapering waist. For archaeologist Pam Miller, this small cave shows how you can find rock art just about anywhere in what's often described as the world's longest art gallery. Called Nine Mile Canyon, this central Utah corridor really runs for more than 50 miles. Miller first visited this area in 1974 on a student research project. These are several thousand years old. 4,000 could be older than that. For more than 20 years, she and her husband, also an archaeologist, have helped lead volunteer efforts to document these sites. And so what you see here is a, a Ute Indian on his horse with a lead line to another horse that doesn't have a rider. They've recorded more than a thousand sites, but there are tens of thousands of images etched or pecked into the rock, some more than a thousand years ago. I'd seen it on TV, stuff about it on television, decided to come up and see it for myself. I really like petroglyphs. I like them a lot, and we've been stopping about every half mile or so and taking pictures of them. It's a stunning showcase right next to the road. But there's a downside. Oil and gas drilling is picking up on the plateau above this canyon, making this a busy access route. So this is a, a protected place, and yet it's got this much dust on it. We're learning new things all the time, but the dust is getting into places that tend to surprise us. All the traffic kicks up dust that covers the art. Miller says the dust may contain corrosive particulates that cling to the rock with unknown consequences. The drilling company also built this compressor station on private land near a prime picnic area for visitors. It does impact it, but you know, there's value to what they're doing as well. I think if, if they're willing to work with the people here at Ken, there's something can be there. I think there should be a happy medium that could be reached. That's what's beginning to happen. Following a long negotiation, Denver-based Bill Barrett Corporation has signed an agreement with government agencies and historic preservation groups. It's part of a decision allowing the company to drill on public lands above the canyon. The agreement lays out protections from controlling dust to monitoring rock art to training workers about cultural resources. The aerial view of a Sundance circle, this would be the center pole that's usually a The huge company line. has also started a new fund to grant money for projects from archaeological research to preventing vandalism. The company says it will donate $5,000 for each new well it drills, up to $5 million. Miller says the hope now is that by working together, allowing access to one resource won't compromise another. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.